All right, so if we're talking Archer, you got to start with Blast Off by Young, Dwin, and Richardson because there's a lot of documentation about uh, Archer to begin with and their space cars. Look at that nice schematic of that model. I think there's another schematic here for a different configuration of space car. I don't have those. I believe that's one of the more common sources of them. They also came boxed. Archer, one of the few companies to pursue female space figures. Marks did as well. Uh, and this picture here with the interplanetary spaceport set kind of got me a little nervous. I don't, I don't know what's in this box now because of this picture. Here's my uh, roughly five inch gorgeous green space car. I'm presuming it's a match for that one right there. And if these are in scale to it, what I've got coming is more along that line. And I don't know how big it's gonna be unless the picture is a composite or some sort of grouping of different images. Uh, there are the radar trucks up. Those things are just gorgeous. And this was another set that the Archer space vehicles were uh, distributed with. The carrier truck. Look at that. So, but because of this one picture now, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's in here. And we're all going to find out at the same time. And my concerns are alleviated. Archer Space Truck. I want to say 1952. 52. With an Archer stamp there. Number two of the vehicle set. Nice detailing. Interesting. Texture to the plastic some swirling to it the detailing on it all original pretty sure not much of a track performer it doesn't have to be push along toy and, and here's the green machine that I had before and this again, just round about five inches from stem to stern. I like the lights. Great, great sculpting. It's just fantastic. And Archer would, of course, include these in those play sets. And I got out ye old Archer figure here, and it touches on one of my pet peeves as a kid, which is when you'd get toy sets with, with figures and vehicles, and the vehicles are just obviously not in scale to the figure, and, and that, 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 that wouldn't work. If I, if I opened this up, I would have had that look on my face at one point saying, how come the spaceman's bigger than the truck? Well, fortunately, Tudor Rose made some copies of them, although even these two here are, are way out of skill. This is almost a professional need if I'm going to be using it as a photographic subject when creating little pulp science fiction-y space art scenes, I need to have figures that are in scale with it. The figurative element draws the viewer in, gives it something to identify with, and they can picture themselves in the scene. So here are the Tudor Rose smaller size. I'm fairly certain these are all by Tudor Rose. There's some sort of marking, I think, on his back there. And they're better in scale with it. And then there are these little guys here. Uh, these are soft plastic. They're from a comic book ad. I, I'm not sure who, who made them. And they're even sort of better in scale with it. 
and then I've got my whole variety of other uh, spacemen to draw examples from to see what is going to work in, in in scale. I think I think all I think all of these these small ones do will come up with some sort of funky diorama thing, and, and a, 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 I like I like using um, pulp science fiction cover artworks or the uh, as a departure point for coming up with some sort of social commentary or ironic use of why these vehicles or why the the creators it. He's at, he's at uh, Honest Bob's Used Rocket and RV. And upset about something. That'd work. Yeah, the Honest Bob's Used Rockets and RVs, you can roll it up and kick the tires.